Hello baseball fans and out of the park baseball fans. I'm here with another game in my Royals season and uh, currently we are in the 2025 season and we are playing the game of August 29th. So we're moving ahead in the schedule and uh, as you can see by our record down here in the corner we are 46 and 82. Not a good but record by any means, by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, if we go and we look at the schedule, uh, we are, where are we right here? Yeah, we're right here, so we're just about finishing up August, and then we will head into September, and we will see how that all goes. But if we look at the Major League Baseball standings overall, you can see we are the worst team in baseball. Uh, actually, by a pretty good amount. There's really nobody... Nobody's really worse than us. So, we are the worst team in baseball, 46 and 82. We're playing the Phillies. Now, the Phillies, as you can see, are 53 and 74. And, of course, we'll go over our statistics relative to the league. Offensively, we are 12th. Um, in average, we are 14th. In home runs, we're tied for 12th. So even offensively, we're slipping. We were a little better off offensively in comparison to the rest of the league um, at earlier times in the season, but that has been slipping. Defensively, though, in pitching, we're terrible. Uh, we are 30th in ERA, 30th in strikeouts, 30th in defensive efficiency. So with all of that having been said, we're going to move ahead and play the game against the Phillies. So the Phillies lineup for this game will be, let's see, we don't have any gaps, so that's good. It's going to be Greg Allen leading off and playing right field. Trey Turner will bat second for them and play first base. Bryce Harper will be the left fielder batting third. Kyle Schwarber is their DH. Tyler Freeman will be the shortstop. Brendan Donovan plays second for them and bats sixth. Brian Anderson will be their third baseman. I'm assuming that's the former Marlin Brian Anderson that they have in this league. And Jack Sawinski, who is formerly in real life of the Pirates, uh, is going to be their center fielder. And Andrick Nava will be the catcher. Their pitcher is going to be Matthew Libatore, who is 6-6 six six with a 5.03 earned run average. For us, we're going to have Brandon Marsh leading off and playing center field. Michael Massey will bat second and uh, play second. Bobby Witt Jr. will play third and bat and bat third. Juan Soto is going to be the cleanup hitter batting and playing left field. Caden Wallace will be the first baseman batting fifth. MJ Melendez will be in right field batting sixth. Nick Lofton will be the shortstop batting seventh. Salvador Perez Selvi is going to bat eighth and play catcher, and Henry Davis will be the DH with Randy Vasquez pitching for us. He is six and nine on the season with a 561 earned run average. And so, with all of that having been said, let's get on with the game, shall we? All right, so Greg Allen. Uh, Greg Allen, I believe, is the former uh, Cleveland Guardian, Cleveland Indian player. Um, and I'm assuming that that's who that is. And so now the Phillies in out of the park, in the out of the park world that we're in in 2025, have him. So he's going to deal, and that's going to be a base hit for Allen. And he's got a little speed, too. He's a speedy guy. He might try to steal. So let's try a pitch out and see what happens. Not going, and so we're going to pitch. And that's going to be a ground ball into hopefully a double play, and it is. Nice. So we get two outs quickly after Allen got aboard with a uh, leadoff base hit. And that brings up Bryce Harper. Got to be uh, wary of him. Did we strike him out? No, we walked him. Bryce Harper, I have him in my Stratomatic League. He does walk quite often. Kyle Schwarber, got to be careful with him. And he's going to get a base hit right over the second baseman's head. Luckily, there's two outs. So all we have to be concerned with is getting this um, next guy out. And we'll be out of the inning. Uh, and that is going to be Tyler Freeman. And that's lefty on lefty, and he strikes out. So we do get out of the inning, although it was touch and go there. For a little bit 
And that'll bring up Brandon Marsh batting against Matthew Libertore. Now, as I said, Libertore, uh, an ERA over five. He isn't having a very good season for the Phillies. This is a lefty-on-lefty -lefty matchup, and uh, Marsh hits it to the center fielder for the first out of the inning. Which brings up Michael Massey. And Michael Massey's going to get a base hit. He's one of our better hitters, and, uh, and really, in real life, he's actually a very good hitter, too. So Libertori's going to deal to Bobby Witt with a man aboard, and he strikes out. I don't know what he was swinging at there. And that brings up Juan Soto. And Juan Soto is going to fly out to left. So we're out of the inning relatively quickly ourselves. And that takes us to the second inning in a 0-0 game where Randy Vasquez will deal to Brandon Donovan. Brandon Donovan, of course, former St. Louis Cardinal, and uh, maybe even in real life still on the Cardinals, but in this out-of-the-park world that we are in, he is on the Phillies. So there's going to be a walk to the second guy. There's one out and a man aboard with Sawinski batting. Yeah, Sawinski not very good, and he strikes out there, and that'll bring up Andrik Nava, the catcher have no idea who Andrick Nava is or, you know, where Real Muto is, what team God knows Real Muto's on in this out-of-the-park uh, scenario world. So Libertori's now pitching to Caden Wallace. Caden Wallace on the year hitting 266 with a 318 on base percentage, but a 757 OPS, which is not too bad. And he is going to strike out. He goes down and Melendez comes up. There's one out, nobody on, and Melendez is going to line a base hit to left field, left center field, or right, or center left, whatever, out there. It's a single. So uh, Nick Loft is the batter. He's the shortstop today. And he hits a uh, medium deep fly ball to center field with, for the out, and that's two down with our man, Selvi Perez. I'm wondering when he's going to retire in this out-of-the-park universe. Uh, I don't know if I'll be around to see it because, of course, we've had a terrible record every time I have been the manager of the team. you got to believe that they're thinking about replacing me, but we'll see. That is going to be a ground out to wit for the first batter of the Phillies' third inning. And Trey Turner is the batter. Trey Turner playing first base for some reason. I don't know what that is, but that's what they've decided to do. Uh, far be it from me. And Bryce Harper is the batter. Looks like Bryce Harper too, doesn't it? And he is going to line a base hit. So he walked and he got a base hit now to left field. He's been on both times he's been up, which brings up Schwarber. And he was up. Oh, Harper stealing. Is he out? Nope. He is not out. So now he's at second with Schwarby aboard, or Schwarby at the plate. And that is going to be a base hit and probably score Harper. So the Phillies are going to take a one-run lead here, one nothing, Because Harper stole, he got, uh, he kind of schnookered me. And that's going to be a base hit right down the left field line, probably a double. This guy is just not even going to be... Yeah, it's going to be another run. So the Phillies are ahead 2-0 now, which is disconcerting. And now Brendan Donovan is the batter, and he is out. It would have been nice if Vasquez could have gotten those guys out before all the damage was done, but the Phillies take a 2-0 lead in the third. Henry Davis, who is our backup catcher, is playing DH today, and he is going to fly out to right field. One down quickly for Brandon Marsh. Brandon Marsh is going to strike out, and he is done. And that brings up Michael Massey, as I said, one of our better hitters, and one of the Royals' real-life better hitters, but he strikes out. So we're going to the top of the fourth, losing 2 nothing, And that is going to be a ground out to third. There's one down. And Jack Sawinski is the batter. Jack Sawinski is out. So that's two down. 
and Andrick Nava. It is the batter. He is the catcher today, and he grounds out to second base. So, I mean, it's possible Real Muto is still on the Phillies and just getting a day off here. But, uh, in any case, Libertori goes back out to pitch to our lineup, which is going to start off with Bobby Witt this particular inning. Bobby Witt walks, so he's aboard, which brings up Juan Soto. Juan Soto walks. We get the first two guys aboard with nobody out and Caden Wallace up. And Caden Wallace gives it a wallop, but it's going to be a fly ball to center field for an out. Uh, yeah, and I guess the runner on second was able to advance to third on the fly out. So uh, in Stratomatic, if you know anything about Stratomatic baseball, that would be a fly ball A. Well, maybe not because the other runner didn't advance. But um, MJ Melendez is the batter. Let's see if he can drive a run home. He cannot. Let's see. Yeah, he's out. So now we've got runners at first and second and two down. And the batter is Nick Lofton. And Lofton walks, though, and we've got the bases loaded. Now we have two outs, so um, we really need our man, uh, Salvador Perez, to come through here. And he does not. He strikes out at something that was down and inside, it looked like. So, yeah, I am definitely waiting for Salvador, uh, Salvador Perez to... Uh, retire. Greg Allen, their leadoff hitter for the Phillies in the top of the fifth, and he strikes out. So there's one down. Uh, Randy Vasquez about midway burned up here in the fifth. So as far as being burned up, he's doing pretty well. But as far as um, the score, it's not so great. <laughs> I mean, 2 nothing. that could be enough right there, you know. Although offensively, as I said, we are much better offensively than we are pitching and defense-wise. That's going to be a ground out to first, and that'll end the inning for the Phillies. And we go to the bottom of the fifth, still only losing 2 nothing, Which will bring up Henry Davis, the DH. And Henry Davis is going to ground out to second. So he's out, and that brings Brandon Marsh to the plate. Now, Brandon Marsh, in real life, he's on the Phillies, and he doesn't play against lefties. And there might be a good reason for that, although he did just walk, and so Massey is up. Massey is going to hit a home run! Yes, he is! Massey takes it downtown. And we tie the game here in the fifth on a Mike Massey two-run home run after Brandon Marsh got a leadoff walk. And Bobby Witt is the batter. And Bobby Witt's going to line it up the middle and pass the second baseman. So he's aboard. Got to wonder how long they're going to stick with Libertori here. But Soto is the batter. And Soto is going to fly out to right. Come on, Soto. Caden Wallace is up. Caden Wallace is a good hitter. He's a good solid guy for us, but he's going to ground... Oh, no. I was, thought he was going to ground into a double play. Well, he didn't need to. That was the third out. But we did tie the game. So we're in the top of the sixth. Vasquez still has a little in the tank, so I'm going to let him keep pitching. He has pitched fairly well. It's just that, you know, if you give up two runs with this team, it's hard for us to get two runs. We did it, but it was, uh, you know, you can't, you can't, think that we're going to score a lot of runs. That's going to be a pop-out for the second out. So Vasquez, yeah, this is probably going to be his last inning, although it is the sixth, so that's not too bad. And that'll be a fly to center. So he gets out of the inning, and I do have to get somebody up in the bullpen probably. Let's take a look at that bullpen and see how gassed it is right now. Actually, it's pretty good. I'm going to go with Jose Soriano as the uh, reliever that will be warming up and coming in. Um, 
And Melendez is the batter. Now, if you know me, I'm going to maybe send Vasquez out there for the next inning to start and see how he can do. That's a fly out to center, so we're out. We got the one down quickly here in our half of the sixth. Nick Lofton, the batter, and he is going to be struck out. So Libertori is still out there. Of course, you know, he's pitching well, too. He's only allowed two runs. That is going to be a great play by the center fielder. So Sawinski makes the play, and uh, we're out of this inning. Now I am going to, as I said, Sawinski's up. He's not a great hitter. Vasquez isn't really gassed totally yet, so I'm going to see if he can get um, at least the first two outs before I go to the bullpen. And there is one out, and Nava, you got to believe he's not that great a hitter. Whoa! Let's see if he can throw him out. And he did. So now I will go to the bullpen and get Soriano and bring him in with two down and nobody aboard. So Soriano comes out. He is 1-6 on the season with a 482 earned run average. And he is on in relief here. That is going to be a single to center field. Hope he can get out of this inning. And he does. He strikes out the next batter, and we're out of the inning. We're, and we're going to the bottom of the seventh inning now. In a tie game at two with Henry Davis, the catcher, up. And this is a new um, a new pitcher, Palencia, it looked like. And that's going to be a fly out to center. There's one down. Daniel Palencia. That's going to be a walk. So we got a man aboard and uh, Michael Massey up. Let's see if Massey can... Well, he got a nice base hit. Now Soto is up. This really should be some runs for us. Soto on the year... Or no, this would be Bobby Witt. So Bobby Witt hitting 254, 298 on base percentage, but with 25 home runs. And that's going to be a slow bouncer, and Bobby Witt bounces into a double play. But we have a man 90 feet away now. No, we don't. That was the third out. God. All right, so we're back out on the field. I Where was he? I can't recall what the other out was. But anyway, that's going to be a base hit. That's going to split the gap in between uh, left and center and be a double. Which brings up Schwarber. Schwarber with, um, I believe, Harper at second. And he's going to move Harper over to third. So Harper's 90 feet away. I'm not going to bring the infield in. I don't like doing that. It just really just hands them another run. That is a shallow uh, outfield um, single. And it would have been anyway, even if I had the infield in. So um, that's going to be, uh, what is that? That was a foul ball, I guess. Brendan Donovan is up. But that's going to be a base hit. Now, let's see if we can stop the guy. We can't. So this is probably going to be the, uh, the bust here. They get another run, and they break it open for a 4-2 lead. And that's going to be a ground out to shortstop. But we're down by two again now. Here in the bottom of the eighth. Uh, Palencia, by the way, has a 338 earned run average on the year in 48 innings of work. And I am going to get somebody else up in the bullpen. We'll get Brady Singer up. He's not having a good year, but, you know. Soto is the batter. And he's going to strike out. Soto has not been good at all this game. Caden Wallace is a batter. And Caden Wallace is going to fly out to left. And that will bring, bring up Melendez. And Melendez walks. 
So we do have a runner aboard with Nick Lofton up. New pitcher for Philadelphia, and that is an out. And so we are... I'm going to go right to the bullpen. We're going to bring in Singer. Uh, Singer on the year is 2-9 and nine with a 765 earned run average in 84 innings pitched. So really not having a good year, and that's why he's been demoted to the bullpen. And that's going to be a base hit right between first and second. Next batter is Greg Allen, so we're back to the top of the lineup. That's going to be a ground out. Hopefully they get the lead runner, and at least they do that. So there's a man at first with one down, and Trey Turner, the batter. That should be a fly to center for the second out, and it is. And that brings up Bryce Harper. And he strikes out. So Singer has a fairly good inning there. But we're in the bottom of the ninth, and we need two runs. And Selvi, the batter, going to let him hit. And he gets a base hit. That's a base hit for Selvi. We needed that. We're at the top of the lineup. The new pitcher for Philadelphia is Luis Ortiz. And we have Brandon Marsh up. And Brandon Marsh is going to get a base hit. We've got the first two guys aboard, and we've got the best part of the lineup coming up with Michael Massey up at the... Or no, Brand, wait, Brandon Marsh? All right, I guess I, I got one batter behind. But he walks. The bases are loaded. We could win this thing right here. We have bases loaded with nobody out and Michael Massey up. Let's see what the uh, Philadelphia Phillies do. That's going to be a fly ball, which should score the runner on third, and it does. But we still got some cards up our sleeves because we have Bobby Witt Jr. up with still two runners on and only one out, and we're only down by a run. But he strikes out, and that's going to give way to Juan Soto. Now, Juan Soto on the year... Is hitting only 244, but he has a 394 on base percentage and 16 home runs. And he's going to fly out, and that's going to be it. We gave a valiant effort, but we lost by the score of 4 to 3. I will let you take a look at the uh, box score here. That is a very depressing loss. I mean, that's a hard one to swallow. I mean, Vasquez even pitched fairly good. He went six and two-thirds, allowed six hits and walked two, and only two earned runs. Soriano, unfortunately, though, allowed two earned runs in an inning and a third, and then Singer pitched a pretty good uh, ninth inning. So uh, that is going to be where we are, and that drops us to 46 and 83, and we're going to finish today. And we are now 26 games out of first place in the Central at 46 and 83. And that'll be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.